Hey girls, it's Jamie. I'm so excited to show you one of my favorite crafts of the season because it looks like a million bucks when it only costs 10. And when you're buying gifts for friends, family, pets, or loved ones, like your cameraman. Who, me? Uh, you. Every penny counts. So today, get ready to let your creativity run wild with your own homemade, personalized plate. Let's do it, girl. For your personal plates, you're going to need a set of oven safe plain colored plates. I was originally going to go with white plates, but then I fell in love with these super adorable ones that have sky colored rims. You're also going to need masking tape, paper towels, oven mitts, adhesive stencils, and a permanent Sharpie marker. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more professional, head to a craft store and nab a porcelain 150 pen. Now, in case you girls are wondering, I have done some research and both types of pens are non-toxic, which is pretty important when you're crafting plates that you're about to eat off of. All right, let's get started. Your first step is to think of some fun text to write on your plate. Since it's the holidays, I'll be writing the lyrics to Jingle Bells. Did you know that there's more than one verse to that song? Crazy Town. Step two, unroll a piece of masking tape until it covers the full width of your plate. Now you have a way of keeping your writing straight across the plate. Carefully place your tape near the top of your plate so you have a few centimeters of blank space in which to write. Step three, now's the time to go ahead and begin writing out your words, making sure to only write on the rim of your plate. Every time you reach the end, remove your leveling tape and reattach it a couple centimeters lower in order to resume your writing. Since I'm going with song lyrics, I'm not really worried about fitting the entire thing on the plate. If that's something you want to do, however, I'd recommend drafting your writing ahead of time using a dry erase marker. Now is also a good time to mention that if you make any writing mistakes, even with your permanent marker, you can wipe off any accidental lettering with a wet paper towel and begin again. Step four, once you've finished writing on your larger plate, set it aside and grab your smaller plate. Attach an adhesive stencil or two in the plate center and fill the stencil in using your Sharpie marker. Feel free to add in creative little phrases on the plate too. Actually, I wrote more text in the center of my big plate, so it's like a surprise to my guests when they lift off their little plate. I'll go with ha ha ha, because that's imperative to every Jingle Bell song. <laughs> Laughing all the way, ha ha ha. That's a Jingle Bell's requirement if you ask me. Just saying. Step five, let both your plates sit for a couple of minutes in order to let the ink dry completely. Place your plates a few inches apart from one another in the middle rack of your oven. Let your plates bake for 30 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. While we're waiting, I have a fun fact for you. 300 degrees Fahrenheit is also 150 degrees Celsius, which is why that pen that I mentioned earlier is called a porcelain 150 pen. So there you go. Step seven, remove your plates from the oven and let them cool for about an hour. Once your plates are dried and heat set, they're non-toxic, permanent, and dishwasher safe. And there we have it, your own personalized plates. These make such great gifts to friends around the holidays. Who knows, maybe pulling out the old decorated dishes will make a great annual holiday tradition. Actually, you can do this craft during any season. You can skip the holiday theme and just write love poems or quotes or the lyrics to your favorite One Direction song, which is probably all of them. They're so cute. Now this gift is ready to give. Yay. Oh, Ryan, I was actually gonna give this to my parents. Uh, but you can have my One Direction one. I told you, I don't know what that is. How would you design your own dish? Tweet me at Jamie Petito or tell me all about it in the comments below. Hold the phone, I've got some really cool news for you. Want to make holiday plates for all of your friends? I want you to too. And that's why Girl and I are teaming up in order to give one of you lucky viewers $100 in order to use on your own crafts. Enter our giveaway and you could be in holiday craft heaven. Follow Girl on Twitter and tweet us at hashtag holidaygirl before noon on December 19th in order to enter. There's a link to full details below. That is so cool, I wanna enter. Oh wait, I already have my own plates. Well, good luck, girls. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to Jamie on girl. Oh, do it, girl. Girl.com. You should subscribe. Subscribe. Actually, I wrote more text in the center of my big plate, so that way when people remove the little plate, it's like a surprise. I wrote... <laughs> that's a surprise, that's for sure. Did you care that you could see your bra straps? Yes! <laughs> I care a lot. We want to see more of them, right? <laughs>